When logging into your ClassDojo student account on the web, the layout is slightly different, but all of the tools are still there. At the top you have your Home tab, your Portfolio tab, and in the upper right hand corner you'll see your name. If you click on your name, you're able to delete your account or log out of your account. Back on your home page, if you click on your avatar, you will be able to customize your avatar that you will see in your student account. Under your avatar, you'll see listed all the classes that you're in. Clicking on that class will show you the stories posted by your teacher for that class and your point reports for that class. You'll be able to see the past week's points. Clicking on a specific class to the left, you'll see only class story posts for that class. You'll see the most recent story posts at the top and the oldest ones as you scroll down. You can like a post, or if your teacher has enabled commenting, you can comment on your teacher's posts. Your parent, teacher, and classmates will be able to see your comments as well. Coming back to the top of the page, you can click on any of the tools to create a new portfolio post. You can also click on the portfolio tab and click on the plus sign to create a new portfolio post. If your computer has a built-in camera or you have a webcam attached, you can click photo to create a photo post or video to create a video post. You can create a drawing, attach a file, or write a journal entry. Let's explore the drawing tool. By clicking on draw, you will be brought to a white blank screen. Think of this as a whiteboard where you can create anything you want. Clicking on the shape icon allows you to add various shapes. Clicking on the line icon, you can add a straight line in various thicknesses. Clicking on the pencil icon will allow you to draw whatever shape or item you would like freehand. Clicking on the eraser icon allows you to drag your mouse over whatever image or line you would like to erase. Clicking on the T icon allows you to type in words. Clicking on the color changer icon, you're able to pick various colors. And clicking on the arrows to the left or right allows you to undo or redo the last action. Once you're finished with your drawing, you can add a caption or a voice recording to explain your thinking that is up to eight minutes long. To record your voice, you wanna make sure to allow ClassDojo access to your microphone and camera. Once you've recorded your voice, you can choose to save your work to come back and edit it later, or you can hand it in to your teacher. One tool that is available on the web, yet not available on the app, is the ability to upload a file to a post. When you click on Create New, or the file icon at the top, you're able to upload an image file, or a Word doc or PDF from your computer. The max file size that you can upload is 75 megabytes. Choose Upload File, And then you'll have the option to leave a caption connected with your file. Coming back to your portfolio tab, you'll see that your newly submitted posts have a little clock in the lower right hand corner. This shows that the post is pending approval from your teacher. And once your teacher has approved your work, that will disappear. Above your portfolio posts, you'll see your activities that you have been assigned to do. There will be a start button to the right of the activity, or in this case, an edit button for you to go into the activity and respond as your teacher has chosen. As you can see here, the teacher has attached a worksheet to the activity for the students to fill out.
As you can see, when you add a text box and type a word inside, you're able to edit that text box. You can expand the text box to make the word larger. You can also move it around on the worksheet and you can rotate it to fit it right in the exact spot where you want it. To zoom in on the worksheet, just click on the plus sign next to the magnifying glass symbol. And to zoom back out, click on the minus sign. Clicking into any of your portfolio posts, you can see your teacher comments, instructions, and leave a comment for the teacher yourself if your teacher is enabled commenting. Great work! You're now ready to use your student account on the web.